Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube. If you're watching this video later on for our first deck of the day, which is going to be Sultai Vanifar. Um, last time I was streaming a couple days ago, we played a Bant Vanifar deck at the end of the stream there and um, was pretty impressed with the deck actually. So really enjoyed that one. We're going to uh, continue on with a similar type of deck here with Sultai Vanifar. So I, you may just kind of recognize this deck as the kind of normal Sultai shell. We have all the Explorer creatures. We have our Chupacabra, Hostage Taker, Vivian, Hydroicrasis. These are all really strong cards. So we're just kind of taking all those uh, strong ETB cards and throwing Prime Speaker Vanifar in there as well. So we can turn a Midnight Reaper or a Jade Light Ranger into Hostage Taker or Chupacabra which is, you know, going to be a really strong play, and then take uh, these and turn them into Biogenic Oozes, which is also awesome. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Zelius. Um, so that's that's kind of like our game plan here. Uh, we don't have as many spells as, like, our normal Sultai deck. You know, we got the three Vivians, a couple cast downs. We don't really have, like, Find Finality. Uh, we don't have Land War Elves. So taking out a little bit stuff from the from the bottom and the top, of the curve, but I kind of like how our how consistent our turn two, three, and four look here, uh, and even five also two through five basically we're looking real strong. So let's give it a chance. Sultai Vanifar. Yeah, we'll see how much like we missing fine finality and so on. Hey, BYG. Ah, good afternoon. All right, let's see what we got. We've been playing a lot of soul tie decks recently. So high curve. Uh, maybe a little normal for our deck. But I certainly don't think this is a mulligan. There we go, that fills out the curve a little bit there. Matthew Ori uh, with the donation here. Uh, finish up the actually finish up the Harry's uh, getting the Harry's set there. So only had to got the donation deck for half off. So that was the donation for our finish up that donation for our donation deck here. I do appreciate that. Thanks, Matthew. So let's go ahead and lead with this Wild Growth Walker. We don't really need to cast down a Firebrand. I don't think. I would, We'll kind of save the cast down until next turn to see what we got. I'm not really expecting this Wild Growth Walker to survive. So why is... Question Question is, is why is the green-white Huatli suddenly really good in Selesnia? I'm honestly not sure if there's a certain card and or metagame choice or anything some specific reason why like anything concrete to point to I'm killing the pyromancer before they get to just start firing off more wizards lightnings for one mana <clears throat> anyway hey be freeber getting that quip toothbrush let's get some hype in the chat Thank you, thank you kindly. Next question is the is the music really low for y'all? May need to do some some tune in here for this music. But yeah. Uh, so basically, I don't think it. So to finish that thought, I don't think it's any uh, specific incident of why Green White Huatli is good. I think that people didn't really try her, myself included. 
that much before, just kind of thinking that she wouldn't be very good. But um, under further consideration, uh, after people kind of gave her a chance and started really playing more, I think just the consensus has been, oh, actually, this is a pretty good card. Yeah, it seems like my, my music's a lot softer than normal. Okay, so we just had we just had a new person sign up for Quip. Who do we have there again? Uh but B Freeber. So Freeber for signing up for Quip. Gosh, this is This is not good for us. Double gutter snipe. Uh you do get a free donation deck of your choice. That's something that's uh you can use whenever you want. There's no expiration dates on that. So anytime you have a deck that you would like played on stream, just let me know. Uh, but thank you so much for signing up for Quip there. We are now one su Quip subscriber away. Uh, from doing a 12-hour stream. That's, that's, or not really subscriber, but twi Quib, Quip purchaser. I'll need to update that tab. I can figure out how to do that. Drawing Wild Growth Walker made our life a little easier here. And just, I'm not planning on spending the three mana to recast their gutter snipe, especially when I have like a Hydroid Crisis and stuff, so I'm just getting the Chupacabra to kill that thing immediately. Baloney Pony says, hey Todd, general question, I've been playing a while, free for a while, but I want to, but what do you think would be a good minimum dollar amount to spend to open up a range of decks? That's a really tough question to answer. I, d I don't know, honestly. I don't know how you know, extent your collection is right now, how extent you want it to be. That's pretty tough. Uh, basically, just however many packs you buy. Every, remember, every six packs, you get a wow, a rare wild wow card, uh, with the fourth one of those being a mythic rare wild wow card. And you can kind of see for yourself, uh, you know, look at, like, the, the packs and everything. It's That's a hard, real hard question to to answer. Um, you know, I don't know exactly what, you know, you define as a fair range of decks and all that kind of stuff and what decks, so. All right, how's the music level now? Somebody who's in the channel a lot that knows like how the, the music volume usually is. Let me know if that's better, because my volume settings look to be off on Spotify, but I don't know exactly where it should be. Okay, it's still a little low. Alright, well I got it. Alright, let me finish the sideboarding here, I guess, first. Let's take out these Reapers. Let's go with Um One Less Vivian. Let's get these two negates in there. Yeah, I, I like it a, a, a bit low also. Cause see like, it's like this little bar here is just like at a variable spot. So it's like hard for me to know like where it's supposed to be. Maybe I should just, tr actually, I should probably just turn it up to the max and then change my other mm -hmm. settings to adjust to Spotify being at the max. So then I know always where it is. Anyway, we have Ori with the resub for the 16th month. Thank you so much, Ori. That's going to put our sub battle countdown down to 191. Sorry, whenever that reaches zero, we're going to take an entire stream of just me battling subs. It'll be a fun time. We just can't keep this hand. 
I want to. We just can't against red on the draw. Okay, so the volume's fine now. Um, all right, I'm going to I'm going to lower because you know I have like I have like the audio routed and stuff, so it's not on YouTube. I'm going to lower like that input, and then I'm going to increase the Spotify and thing. And y'all tell me, you know, if it's good, if I need to go up, down, that kind of stuff. All right, so what if we start here? All right, so y'all let me know. So how is how is this right now? Uh, let's get to the next song. Too loud, too quiet. Yeah, that's that's why I want Kalua King. I want it I want it a bit low. Like I, I do want the music to be in the background. I don't want it to be covering up myself or anything like that. Okay, a lot of people are saying this is good. Okay. Uh, uh, I guess we just have to bite the bullet and pay the two life. I honestly thought this was because like just like multitasking and everything. To be a hundred percent honest, I thought this was cast down in my hand. I thought I had two cast downs, and so they like it just gave me life. I was like, cast down doesn't gain you life. What happened? And then I realized it was a moment of craving. So I don't want to shock again. So we'll just go with the Jade Light Ranger. Prime Speaker of Anifar would be a lot better card to play here. I just don't really want to shock again. Um, I think we keep that for later. Just to have in our back pocket. Yeah, remember, different songs are going to be lower and higher. So, yeah... You know, next song and everything, y'all y'all keep me updated. Um, I basically have the Spotify up all of the way, and then I move down uh, my other audio thing. But at least the other audio thing has, like, a specific number. Like, I, you know, like, decimal number or whatever. And so I know exactly where it's set at, so I can keep that setting the same kind of thing. No, don't expect the London Mulligan rule to apply to standard soon at all. I guess if they don't have a spell, if they do have a spell, it's two damage no matter what across the board. If they don't have a spell, um, then the block in the Pyromancer is a better block. The reason why uh, blocking the other one could make sense, or blocking one of the Lava Runners would make sense, is because Wild Growth does such a better job at blocking Pyromancer. Ooh, Phoenix is tough. Phoenix is tough. We're going to go down to five. I'd like to be able to turn Vanifar into... Or use Vanifar to, to get like a hostage taker. Get rid of this Phoenix. Ooh, we're down to two. And unfortunately, we don't even have like a an explore creature to go get. Or I guess I guess I can turn one wild growth into a jade light. That's not the worst idea.
Yeah, I guess we're going to take one wild growth, turn it into a jade light. And then next turn, we can turn the jade light into a hostage taker. All right, so this song's a little louder. Is this is this still a good volume for the music? Perfect. Awesome. Wow, I got real lucky just first first try there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fire off this cast down. I think right. Like there's no reason to go to 5, right? There's just, I know this is kind of a waste of a cast down, but there's just not, it's basically just gaining four life. Um, it doesn't mean like the hostage taker doesn't do nearly as much. Host it is true hostage taker doesn't do nearly as much, but I think just gaining the life is, is certainly good. Okay. So then we can just turn hostage taker into another ooze. Another biogenic ooze. All right, we are one to know. Uh, why don't we have one more land deck? We have a scry. This is better than five. This is probably better than five. We have basically a 50 50 shot. Whoops. As we can't look. We have 25 lands in the deck. So there's 24 in 54 cards. It's a little under 50 50 shot. We need to hit one of the two. You can mulligan this one, the six. I think I think it's probably worth it to keep. This hand can win. Five cards is kind of tough to win. Yes, yeah, scrying helps. We'd get to look at two cards basically. Go, Wild Growth Walker, go! Hey, what's up, King Soul? I did... I did enjoy my day off. But glad to be back, playing some more Magic. Shooter says, just finished watching uh, your Grixis discard VOD from Saturday. Glad to see you're playing it again. Love that deck. Thanks, Shooter. Yeah, that, that deck is, is so much fun to play. It's it's my, it's probably my favorite deck to play these days. It's just the deck I'm having the most success with, too. And uh, I don't remember the last time I played it and didn't get a 5-win league. But... Uh, do I play any magic off stream? Sometimes, not not a ton, because you know I I stream for around seven to eight hours every single day, so I don't I don't play too much. But there are times where I 
want to work on a, a certain deck or anything like that. Or something like that, and uh, I'll play at that time. Alright, so this is, I'm this is what I'm worried about, like, with attacking with the Jade Light Ranger here. If I attack with the Jade Light Ranger here, and then the opponent plays two spells, the Steamkin is a 4-4, four four, and then they attack back with a 4-4, four four, and I have to, like, just jump with the Branch Walker. I'd rather just try to be able to double block, at least, or disincentivize them from attacking, basically. The Steamkin is pretty scary. So all that still happened. If I take this, we go to eight. Which eight is not a whole lot of life. I don't know if we can just sit back and chump lock this steamkin all day. Maybe we can though. I thought they just had two cards in hand. Not one. Hey, Inspire with the donation. Thank you so much. What's your current go-to deck in the current standard? It is the Grixis discard. That is my go-to deck right now. Uh, if I would play in a tournament tomorrow, that would be the 75 I would play. I'd be pretty comfortable with it. Uh, with that being said, I would probably uh, do a little more testing and everything uh, just to really make sure. But um, yeah, I like the deck quite a bit. It's not so good against Mono Red, especially with Frenzy, and also Mono White can be tough as well. But besides that, um, I like the deck against a lot of the, the rest of the field. So that'd be my go to deck. Yeah, so thank you so much, Inspire. Yeah, against Soltai or Golgari, the matches are really close. I I think Grixis discards a little ahead. Uh, especially against these decks that are, like they're playing Krasis and everything and not playing Carnage Tyrant. The more Carnage Tyrant they have, the harder it is. But the games are always really close. They're uh, skill testing games and they're fun to play. Hey, Papa Tim. Uh, day off was pretty good. Yeah, played a lot of played a lot of Breath of the Wild, so I kind of did. Just relaxed. I think our opponent could have done a better job here uh, by... If they would have just kept the, the Steamkin a 4-4 four four and it was just crashing in with a 4-4 four four every turn, that would have been more difficult to beat, basically. I would have had to chump with this with this Krasis that was a 2-2 two two and so on. So last time we brought in a couple of negates, a couple of duresses, this cast down moment of craving, cut the reapers, trim a couple of Vivians. Um, actually, I don't even know if I brought in duresses last time. I don't think I did. Hmm. So this is 61. Yeah, I don't think I actually brought in dresses last time, but I, I probably should. I think I went with this. I think I could just cut one Vivian. Hey, what's up, Smith? It's going good, going real good.
Anything else I need to be cutting? I mean, ooze to... Like, this is still a pretty high curve. Yeah, let's get rid of another Vivian. I'm going to be tapping out all the time. I, I think I kind of want Duress more than Negate. Yeah, I'm going to be tapping out all the time. Let me play Duress, not Negate. I am worried about Frenzy. Like, that's the thing I'm, I'm worried about with, like, cutting the Vivians. So I'm, I'm worried about Frenzy. Ugh. Good mana. Hand is too expensive. Against Mono Red and being on the draw. Playing a 2-2 on turn 4 for your first play is just not, not good enough. Yeah, like, I, I could play Rexage. I, want, I need land. I could play Rexage for Frenzy, but Vivian's just such a better card. Rexage just getting cleaned up by Chain Whirler and Firebrand and stuff like that. However, Rexage you can find with Prime Speaker Vanifar, so that's a, that's a plus. Yes, in top deck mode, negate is better, but I I feel pretty good once we get to top deck mode. And dress, I think dress is better early game, and it's better at helping you get to top deck mode. So this is kind of weird. If I dress them, I help turn on Lava Runner by putting a spell in their graveyard. If I wait, dress may not have any targets. Um... Doesn't use my mana too well. Hmm. Well, it won't be one damage, right? Like if I if I take a, a three damage spell, the lava runner turns into two. They want to cast down. No, I, I, I've never bathed Hawkeye. He does that himself. Cats bathe themselves. But he is pretty fluffy. I think I, like, Frenzy is about the only thing I'm scared of right now. I think I need to see if they have, okay, like, they just have a brick, so I don't really care. So Firebrand kills Jade Light. I could, you know, like, kill their Firebrand and stuff, but, again, I don't really mind. We're doing just fine. All right, Vanifar, do your thing. I don't know what your thing is, but do it. Uh... We don't really have a way to get a WoW Growth Walker. That's the unfortunate thing of not playing Land Werewolf. We have no way to actually go get a WoW Growth Walker. So I'm, I'm doing it this way so that I can double exp because like exploring and then shuffling isn't very valuable.
Exploring then shuffling is not very valuable, so I want to shuffle as soon as possible before starting to explore. Hostage Taker is a pretty good draw here. We get to take the Jade Light. And get the get the explore triggers back from the Jade Light. Oh, it works like that. I don't get to shuffle my library first. I guess that makes sense. Well, we'll just keep that moment of craving in the deck. Still, still got to draw a forest out of the deck. And turn the 2-1 into a 3-2. It's valuable. You're gonna see quasi dupla ooze again? Yeah, I think so. I've I've been basically playing Simic Adapt instead of Quasi Dupla Ooze. Been really liking Simic Adapt. That's kind of like they're they're both like the blue green decks. Um, I think the Simic Adapt one is is kind of better. I guess I can just attack them for lethal. <laughs> yeah, Vanifar is the news. It grows. All right, we are 2-0. and oh. Played Mono Red twice. Got two wins. Vanifar is looking pretty good so far. That four toughness. Hey, what's up, Chester Cheese? Glad you're here. <laughs> the Wizard of Ooze. Zoomy Jerry. Ew. Mulligan. Hmm. That card that you want to keep, but you know you can't keep, but you want to keep. Uh. <laughs> I need that Vivian back already. They're they're we're playing against either Gogari or Sultai. Or Vivian's awesome. And we had the land there. Uh give me back that Vivian. Gross. Why well, explored then Vanifard. That was uh that just I mean, depending on what specific time you are talking about, uh, I may not have had a choice. Like, if you're talking about like whenever I hostage takered my own Jade Light Ranger, and then sacked the hostage taker, the Jade Light just comes in before the other trigger happens. So like the Explorer happens first. I didn't really ever have a choice to to explore after, kind of thing. Like the times that I that I did it first, I had to. But yeah, shuffling is shuffling is better than exploring. Or sh you want to order the shuffling first before exploring. Reaper or Jade Light? I could see playing Reaper here. No, let's go Jade Light. Uh so four six. We are able to dubs block. Uh 
Our breath walker is pretty strong. Watery Grave would like technically be a better card to play than Overgrown Tomb, but they know about Overgrown Tomb, so I'm playing Overgrown Tomb. <laughs> hey, Balding Yeti. Glad you're here, too. Lebrontodon? Um, I don't know exactly what I want to do. Troop of Brontodon it would not be too good. Not be too necessary. Alright, so let's go and change this up. So we're not going to activate Vanifar. If if we Chupacabra Brontodon, that takes my Jade Light Ranger. And you know, I play Jade Light Ranger. I sack the Jade Light Ranger. I basically have nothing back to block like the 3 2 and 2 1. I could, like, besides like the Brontodon. Or, like, besides the Chupacabra, I could do that and play Branch Walker. I just don't really need to do that, basically. That's what I'm saying. Next turn, we're going to gain a ton of life. Ah, or we can Hostage Taker, that thing. So I can either go Wow Growth plus Jade Light... Sack this for another Jade Light. Or I can... I mean, I could do that and... I guess... Let's just do that and Hostage Taker, I guess. But not not sack for another Jade Light. We'll sack the Jade Light for... Hostage. Thank you. The problem is I didn't really grow the Vanifar for finality. So finality would, would kind of wreck me. It would kill four of my creatures, but we would draw four cards. Yeah, Vanifar does give so many options with this deck. Hey, Balding Ace says, I played Ni some Naya Huatli yesterday for an hour or so. By far the funnest deck to play in the meta, in my opinion. Feels good getting rewarded with all the little interactions it has. That's awesome, Balding Eddie. Yeah, glad you're, glad you're liking it. Alright, so what do they get? They have... A cast down? Hmm... I think I should play Ooze. Yeah, I think I should play Ooze and get Vanifar above Finality. I could have I could have sacked the Midnight Reaper and gotten Hostage Taker and taken their Jade Light and cast Jade Light. No, I'm not playing any modern anytime soon. But no, not a nagging question. It's okay. But no, not, no plans for modern anytime soon.
So do I want to get another ooze? I don't even know. Why did I even play that? I don't even need to play that. I should have just played Vivian. Yeah, I should have just played Vivian. Because my plan was like to play this and Hostage Shaker. I probably should have just played Vivian. I could have gone Vivian and. Um, Vivian and Hostage Shaker. Dang. Dude, Vivian. or Vanifar was nuts there. <laughs> For a while. Man, it's, we got so much value off that Vanifar. Can I play both? I can't do Vivian and... I cannot do Vivian and Ooze, so we'll just do... Let's do this Vivian now. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. I was looking for another Vanifar. All right, Wild Growth Walker is 9-11. Don't really want to trade it for Carnage Tyrant plus some other things. Like, you can trade basically Tyrant. Yeah, we can wait a turn. Chupacabra away this Brontodon. Yeah, it could have one Muldrotha over, like, the third ooze. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Give me that. Are we going to deck ourselves? Certainly possible we deck ourselves. <laughs> like if they have finality and make us draw a million cards. Yeah, working towards Viving Ult. Basically, I just don't want to see Finality. You think I should be attacking with the Reaper? I mean, I don't think we need to be that worried about decking ourselves yet. But that, that could come into consideration later. Thing is, we just have, like, all these Hydroid Crasuses. Also. You can't stop nature. Mex cracks with the sub. Hey, welcome to the welcome to the channel, Mex. Thank you so much for that support. I really do appreciate that. You are amazing. That is getting our sub battle countdown down to 190.
and SK, SK Garve getting in there. So do, so is Tiny Ent. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, I'm going to have to check out that, that arena stuff that, that y'all are talking about. Like, whatever this, this announcement thing is here. I'm going to have to check this out uh, after the match. Tiny Ent, welcome to the channel as well. So our sub battle countdown getting down to 188. Whenever that hits zero, we're going to take an entire day of just battling subs there. Uh, mirror match. I don't know if there's really anything I want to do. I could play my own Carnage Tyrants. I don't know if Carnage Tyrant's better than anything, though. I'm just going to submit. Alright, hopefully the lag is better. I actually like wild growths. I mean, I think I think the life is important, and as we saw like that game, like wild growths just get so big and everything. I think they're fine. Yeah, I I don't mind to negate for sure. Um, I don't have a good way to pressure planeswalkers without like contempt or anything. Besides just attacking. So our opponent could get, like, you know, we could have, like, Battlefield stall and they could have, like, Vivian advantage and, and Ultimate Vivian and win. That would be, like, the easiest way for us losing. But I think just keeping, like, having all these hostage shakers and chupacabras and everything, hopefully we don't get uh, down on the battlefield. Also helps the opponents not playing with a ton of cards. I think they multi five. Uh, Branchwalker drew him a card though, so they're already making up that mold of five here kind of quickly. Alright, we'll get that thing. We'll stop that thing before it gets started. I'll trade one damage from them for two for, like, they take one, I take two. With me having Wild Growth Walker, they'll gain life. I think that's fine. So basically, how uh, so how it'll work is um, I'll be pick, picking people at random that day during the sub battle. Like whoever's here in chat, uh, basically you'll be able to just kind of like raise your hand and be you know like we'll pick you know randomly pick one person from the people in chat here that are subs that are at their computer and ready to battle. Let's say they are, and then. We'll play a match and then pick a new person and, and so on. So they have find finality. Let's see you come to me. Do they want to cast finality? Ah, that contempt. Every defeat is a new beginning. Yeah, it's for Matthew. It's for fun with with subs. Nobody's gonna be stream sniping. That's it's not a thing that's gonna happen. Wanted to wait and have like, you know, prefer to be able to get the Jade Light Ranger. All 
All right, so they block here, so they're gonna use find to get back Jade Light and Thief. We'll have this for Thief. We'll have our Krasis's also. Hmm. They just they what? Why would they kill Hostage Shaker and not Wild Growth Walker? Like, how does that? How does that even make sense? Why would you kill a 2-3 instead of a 3-5 that continues to grow and gain life? How does that... How does that even make the sense at all? That doesn't make any of the sense. This is just 5, it's just divination. That's better than playing the Choop. So I draw three with Krasis right now, so I'd have to go to discard. Um, I could play Reaper plus Choop and kill their Taker. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I don't think I need to be too scared of Thief with us having so much pressure. Yeah, that, that was pretty cool, getting to draw a card off the 0-0 zero, zero Krasis. That is pretty cool. Alright, they are down to two. A lot of cards, but not very good cards. There we go. Those are good cards. Well, that'll do it. Three and O. Oh. Deck looks pretty good in the Soul Time Mirror, especially the Vanifar. Went crazy that first game. That was like really cool how crazy uh, Vanifar went there. All right, we are three and O. Oh. Let's keep it going. After this league, we'll check out. Uh, I'll check out like whatever like those those announcements you were saying that that they made about selling like sleeves and stuff. We'll take a look at it after the league. After I stop the YouTube recording, and I also need to um, have the official announcement for me undies being a sponsor and just talk about them for two or three minutes. We don't have very, we don't have very many good guards. Also, holding two hydroid crisis with millions of mana. Racto stuff. All right, I see you. I see you. I see you doing your Rakdos thing. Yeah, they are they are very 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 comfortable. Meundies are. I I'd be very appreciative if you guys say you know like especially if you've used used them before say something kind during that that two three minute stretch when I want to talk about them because you know they'll they'll go back and and watch that because you know, I'll send them that timestamp for them to see. It's annoying. 
So no blocks. So I can play Midnight Reaper to block, or I can have Cast Down. The good part about Cast Down is that... I'm going to go Cast Down. The good part about Cast Down is that I don't need to... I don't need a Shock next turn to play Hostage Taker, which I want to play Hostage Taker next turn. It's unfortunate that we don't get to cast down the card that matters, the Judith. We have to take that thing. So yeah, we're real close to a couple 12-hour st streams there. This game's pretty lost. I think my only real hope is drawing a Jade Light Ranger here. That's a Jade Light Ranger. That's some real hope, I suppose. Gosh, I want to keep this. But I also need I also need an untapped land that's not a shock land so I can play this priest of the forgotten gods. Can I shock? So we're gonna go to eight, we'll go to six with a shock land to play this priest. Yeah, I mean we definitely need to, to play the the priest. Ugh. Why another shock land? This leaves me dead. No, I'm, I'm just dead. I guess I, I yeah, I guess the, the shock land does kill me. No matter what, I'm dead. They just get the, the Judith triggers, finish me off. <sighs> yep, the pains of three color decks. Stupid cast out, not killing Judith. So this one could definitely be tough for us. I did not. Uh, I changed some things in the sideboard, and I took out uh, Cry of the Carnarium and Ritual Set from the sideboard to add in, uh, like, Harpooners and Rex Ages and things like that. So this is certainly going to be pretty tough for us. Um, I'm just going to play another Harpooner as a blocker instead of Midnight Reaper. Derek? I don't think Duress and Negate are going to really do anything. Carnage Tyrant's got to be too slow. Let's just try this.
This is keepable, but it's not spectacular. It's not that I'm too thrilled with. I do not want to see Priest of the Forgotten Gods at all on the other side. Go deck, go! So should I take Judith or Hero? Probably Judith, right? Yeah, I should probably take Judith. Down, down, down. Attack. Ooh. That damage is rolling in. Can you spend gold on cosmetics or just gems? Dealt. So I assume the answer to my question was just gems. And not gold. Yeah, they so they probably have another Judith in hand with attacking with Judith. Which could mean that I like I shouldn't even block the Judith. This is a free block here. We're taking seven. There's no pings or anything. We go down to eight. Okay, so they're just playing the other Judith for the things. I honestly didn't know they still had a land drop left, to be honest. I guess I could have counted and made and realized that. I didn't quite, but I didn't quite realize they had another la land drop left. So we're going to nine. So Krasis is putting us up to nine. Um, what do I want to attack with? Maybe nothing. We have all the Judiths. Come on. 
just don't have any removal spells. We don't have... We had our one hostage taker. I used it too early. So we can go to five. I don't think that helps us survive. That doesn't. I can... Uh, Go to four with four blockers. That doesn't help us survive either. Well, I guess I, sh I could just play the Krasis for one and have to draw exactly moment of craving. Our one single moment of craving. We could have survived if we would have drawn the one moment of craving. With Jude with uh, Krasis on one. Oh, well, three and one. That kind of matchup, you know, having Wildgrowth Walker and then explore creatures is how we win. We didn't have that either game. I guess the first game we had Wildgrowth Walkers, but not explore creatures until the very end. Anyway, we got a new game here. We are on the draw with nothing to do until turn four. So we're going to go ahead and mulligan. And we have just a Woodland Cemetery. But we're on the draw, so we get three looks to another land for Branch Walker. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I'll do. Doesn't I would honestly be surprised if like if Arena ever goes to Mac, honestly. Wizards is like like with Magic Online too, Wizards has just shown that they do not care about putting their game on Mac at all. That's something that people were asking for Magic Online ever since it's been around for close to twenty years now and it never went to Mac ever. Not be hold, not be holding my breath for Arena going to Mac, which is pretty unfortunate. I think I like playing Jade Light more than Midnight Reaper here, but I could see playing Min Midnight and wanting to hold Jade Light for. That's a good card. It just cycles. <laughs> sure. Waiting for Jade Light uh, <clears throat> for a while growth or something. All right, I'm definitely hostage taking this wild growth walker right now. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen anything about the update myself. Just heard people talk about how you can now spend gems for sleeves. That's the only thing that I know. Cuz you know I've been been streaming here. So we'll take a look at it after the after this league. Hey, what's up James? Yeah, doing good. And no one knows the wilds like I do. Guess our other Vivians are going to the bottom.
Hmm. So if we do find Hostage Taker or Chupacabra, which are the cards that we want to find for this Wild Growth Walker, that'll cost four mana. It'll be possible, maybe, to be able to cast the Wild Growth Walker as well if we either draw a land and then find one of the others with the Vivian. Come on. So bad news is we are just super far behind. Good news is if we do draw a Hostage Taker or even Chupacabra, we're basically back to even or like ahead because we have Crasis's and they have one card I've seen worse. kind of thing. This Wild Growth Walker is going to hurt. Okay, okay. I'll take another six. Another six drops us down to three, but... I do have a good block on Branch Walker and Jade Light. So do I want to go to one and kill their walker? So options are play Reaper, sack the Reaper, go to one, get Chupacabra or Taker, get rid of the walker. I guess probably Taker is better. Uh, another option is play Wild Growth Walker, play Krasis, uh, gain a life with Krasis and draw a card, and also sack Krasis to get Jade Light and gain some more life with the Wild Growth Walker. I think that's the play that we'll do next turn. Yeah, I think I think we just go with I think we just go to one. That's a good draw. We can gain a whole lot of life with these wild growth walkers next turn. Because next turn I was just going to, you know, without drawing the Jade Light, I was going to be able to play this Wild Growth Walker and have two walkers and then play Krasis for one and sack the Krasis for Jade Light. And we gain 12 life from the two Wild Growth Walkers. Hey, what's up, Yud? All right, so last time I didn't sideboard at all. I don't think I really need a sideboard. That was a very nice comeback. <laughs> yeah, they were at 36 life and they conceded. But man. Vanifar is so good. So good. Ugh, so good. Nice, Chaos. Yeah, Vanifar has been awesome for us. Alright, we had... Um, who was it? Again. Befreeber, that's right. We had Befreeber sign up for that new toothbrush with Quip. That means we've had 19 people get a new toothbrush with Quip. We One more person uh, getting that awesome toothbrush, upgrading their uh, 
and we are doing a 12 hour stream to celebrate we're at uh, 19 out of 20 now so if you uh, want to do one of like the very best things for your health is getting a really nice toothbrush check out quip uh, I really do look forward to brushing my teeth every day now ever since I've gotten my own quip toothbrush it is awesome use my referral link get your first refill for free and you also get a free donation deck if you sign up for quip as well you can keep this don't have the explore creatures to make it like real good but this is a keep hey explore creature what's up <laughs> that is true your life total is just a resource that's a good point we went all the way down to one of those life totals And that's why I didn't cast down the Wild Growth Walker. I don't have one scheduled yet. Like I said, we're one person away from from uh, hitting the quip goal. We're a few YouTube subscribers away from hitting that goal over there as well. So we're pretty close to getting a 12-hour stream. We'll likely be, you know, so we'll likely have one uh, this week sometime. I should not have played that land, by the way. We could get a, a shock land here. Oh, why am I not attacking there? I guess they, they grow their own wild growth walkers. Yeah. I found Wild Growth Walker to be very useful. I know it's a, a real common thing that some people say is just sight out Wild Growth Walker. But I've had more success with keeping them in and against people that have sighted, sighted them out. To be honest. Wild Growth Walkers break board stalls, which is important. So even if our hostage taker dies, they still just it still resets this walker down to a one three, at least. If they attack with both, I can double block. I don't know what that attack's about. I got find finality. They want to get those back. So I gotta get rid of this before our, our hostage taker dies. So let's do that. I want to graveyard this. So what's their other card besides cast down? Is it is it find finality? Vivian, that's that's a problem. Wild animals balance. Something cards. we talked about before that. Um, that's like this is like the, the one way I think we lose this matchup is if our opponent gets Vivian advantage out first and ultimates a Vivian, 
uh, and us not being able to do something about it. I think that's the the thing I'm worried about the most. <laughs> I thought I was conceding last time. Yeah, our opponent's at 50. So that was a really bad sign for us there, that Vivian. That was probably the worst card that we could possibly see for their last card in hand. We are going to start with our Vivian the next turn and have Vivian advantage. This is bad. This is real bad. We certainly need more lands. I guess I'm going with my own Vivian looking for lands. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? Really? Some of these some of these cards are good. I don't really want to play Vanifar. Like, Vanifar would be, like, the best thing we could play, but I don't really want to play Vanifar because they have Hostage Taker. Yeah, Come their Vivian was the, the worst possible card we could see. Hey, Amatrin, just signed up for Quip? Awesome. I guess that referral, the referral didn't go through. Use my... Uh, hope you use the link there uh and then amateur and just uh send me a whisper of your order number so since it didn't come through i can tell them about that I love this attack by the opponent. Because that means we're going to be able to attack back at their uh, Vivian. That's why I love it. I can just let my Vivian die. I always survive. But we were we were we were like very dead to their Vivian and now we're not. We get to take this Jade Light Ranger. And that Jade Light Ranger is ours, so that if our if our opponent cast downs or trophies my hostage taker, uh, we get we just get our uh, our uh, Jade Light back. <laughs> uh, no problem, quite lucky. Just uh, whisper it to me. And thank you so much. Not bad. Amatrin. So oh, nice. Amatrin and uh, quite lucky. If either of y'all would like a free donation deck, just let me know. Anytime. Uh, that offer never expires. All right. Let me write both of those down, and I'll have to send them a message here. So we're taking 14. I could just block with Hostage Shaker and get the Jade Light back. Wow. Love it. I love that we got to waste their cast down. That is so good for us. Alright, so that means we... Are going to be doing a 12 hour stream that means we're at 21 people for quip getting that amazing toothbrush i should probably keep that vanifar they kill one and i have another Hey, 
hey, good job, Lost in Blizzard. Got to Mythic with Grixis Discard. That's awesome. What are the targets you want to hit with Vanifar? Um, probably just getting Hostage Takers, Chupacabras, uh, and stuff like that. Like basically, those are the, the main things. Also, just getting more Explore Creatures for our Wild Growth Walkers. Biogenic Ooze is our top end card. Thing is, I've already explored two oozes in the graveyard, so I only have one more ooze. Knockout pill. Hey, what's up, Knockout? Thanks for getting aboard that hype book and that sub in here. Sub number seven on the day. Let's get this countdown going down. Down to 187 now. Alright, so we'll just attack back. Do I want to attack back? Do I need to play any D? Should probably play some D. Maybe just no attacks. So I think I would rather have... Huh. I mean, Vivian's going to get, get trophied. That's okay. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. Oh, thank you so much, Knockout Pill. No one knows the wilds like I do. Keeping that uh, biogenic ooze in my deck for the Vanifar. I'm pretty surprised my opponent just didn't use their mana right there to trophy the Vivian. But maybe they want to trophy like my blockers. Yeah, I guess they want to trophy the blockers. Alright, so that's an easy block. If I uh, triple block, that won't end too kindly for me. So I'm just going to single block. So now they don't get to play their Krasis for Maximum if they want to trophy the Vivian. If they don't trophy the Vivian, I will likely find a Chupacabra or Hostage Taker. Ah, not again! There they go. That's pretty good. Four, four. Definitely playing this. Um, I guess I play that because my wow growths will be just as big as theirs. annoying prepare the gallows we've got company i'll take what's mine that's really annoying wow wow this took a turn for the worse wow what a turn
All right, let's refill. Our opponent will likely will likely use Vivian to kill my Krasis here. Crew, attack at will. So that they don't get rid of their Relic Seeker. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. This is nothing. This could certainly end with somebody decking, absolutely, where we're at right now. Uh, I'm at I'm at 32 cards. They're at 35. Let's tear this place apart. That can't help you now. All right, you're attacking there, you're attacking there. You attack there, you attack there, you attack there. Hmm. So they just let Vivian die. Kill my Vivian. Probably kill the 7-9 Wild Growth Walker. Chump the 9-11 Wild Growth Walker with the Jade Light. I think I'm a little more scared of the Vivian than the Vraska. The Vraska either makes a 2-2 or kills one of my creatures. Honestly, like Vivian going and, and getting like a bunch of, you know, like finding more Chupacabras, Hostage Takers, Krasis's. I don't know. It's a little scarier. Nah, Carnage Tyrant isn't very good in, in the mirror. Here, that's why I, I didn't even board in my Carnage Tyrants. Not dead yet. It's a little surprised they just killed my Jade Light Ranger instead of killing my, my 7 9 Wow Growth Walker with their 9 11. Wow. What a, what a draw step. That's a draw step. What a draw step. I don't think there's a better one. I'm sorry. Were you using that? I'll be back. They didn't do any exploring like to put that before. on top or anything like that. Um All right, I want to play Vanifar. I absolutely want to play Vanifar. Uh, so basically, do I want to play a Krasis for five to go along with Vanifar? And I think the answer is yes. I could play Krasis for six and get pretty greedy, and I need to hit a land. Um, how many lands do we have? Four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven out of 25. So there are 14 more lands. So basically, half the cards are lands. I think I can go pretty greedy and do Krasis for six. I don't think we're going to lose three coin flips in a row. <laughs> and we found a land. They have 34 cards. I have 27. So I'm closer to decking out. Um, nah, it's just not even a good attack. I, I need those cards for my Vanifar. Hmm. 
My crew is the finest in the seas. All right. That's probably about game for us. Or it'll be close to it. Yeah, it seems like whenever the game gets really late stage like this... It starts to lag. I like all their things. Let's get their things. I like their toys. So it's just kind of what we do next. The thing about attacking with this branch walker is I don't... I, can't go back I don't really have great Vanifar chains anymore now. I have like an I have an ooze that I'm going to go get. Uh, but that's kind of it. The branch walker could have gotten... Like Midnight Reaper, I guess. How many crises have we seen? We've only seen two. All right, that's fine. I'm, I'm glad I made that trade now. Seventy three is a lot. But we'll get there. Eight points at a time. Or ten points at a time. I'm going to wait on the cast down because our opponent could draw a hostage taker. Which could, you know, turn this all around. And I would rather be able to cast down that. Or they could have like a huge crisis that I want to cast down kind of thing. We'll just wait on it. Good. Get a shuffle here. We've been drawing way too many lands. So we're at 19 now. They're at 29. As far as cards in library. We have two more crises out of the 19 cards. Oh, come on, deck. Come on, Arena. You can do it.
It seems like we only have lands now, right? We're getting the rest of them out of the deck. At least. Alright, so we have... Um, how many lands have we drawn? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty two. That's twenty two lands now. Okay, so it's the lag stuff's not just me with like really long arena games. That's good to know. We have 25 total in the deck. So we're just keeping this going. Yeah, Krace is saying may draw would be nice. Ooh, opponent's playing pretty tight there. I like that add a mana on Land War Elf. Before anything else. Pretty tight play, I like it. Alright, two turn clock. They were at 73. It's taken us a while. But we are finally getting them down. So do they have Contempt? They need Contempt. Nope, just cast down. That's not going to do it. That'll be game. That was a good game. That was a good game. Epic game lasts like eight turns. Neither of us really did very much. They drew a couple crappy creatures and a few removal spells. I drew a bunch of lands and a couple removal spells. Some Midnight Creepers. All right. We are four and one. That's right. It is final boss time. Let's go ahead and do this restart, though here first just in case that helps not clear if this is going to help at all um. no I wouldn't say that necessarily keeping land or else post poor post board in the mirror is a mistake necessarily it's not a good card to draw late game like that but uh, powering out really fast Vivians is a, is a nice, easy way to uh, to win. All right, here we go. Final boss playlist. Let's let's go. Four and one. I will keep this. We need one land to be able to get to the Jaylight Rangers. All 
All right, here we go. Final boss. Hey, Soul Farmer. All right, so we did get to the 12-hour stream goal four, uh, getting uh, the twip, uh, quip. Sorry, getting the people signing up for quip uh, earlier. So we're going to, have to do a 12-hour stream here soon. So let's see. Today is Wednesday. What day are y'all thinking for a 12-hour stream? Maybe, maybe Friday. How's Friday sounding? Friday fun day? It's been unfortunate about the whole we need to draw one more land thing. There we go. Sunday, Sunday, I have, I actually have a uh, fantasy baseball draft with some friends back in Texas on Sunday. Sunday's not going to be so good for me. We're going to have to ship all of these cards to the graveyard just to try to find any lands. Tomorrow? What do y'all think? Is, is tomorrow or Friday? I guess I could start a straw poll. Y'all can vote tomorrow or Friday. Gosh, that card's great. Hey, land. Second. There you go. All right, so they still have the mana for absorb. I didn't want to throw Vivian into a counter spell, but you know they'll always have the mana for a counter spell up. I've had to just waste so many good cards. I'm now going to like flood out here after this, after having to explore all those things to the graveyard. So, yeah, vote vote in the straw poll there. Just put the link in the chat. Just upkeep. All right. I'll just... Spend my mana with an uncounterable thing. Could have just done that during their turn. <laughs> yeah, I guess the season already started. I suppose it is. It is a late draft. My opponent's waiting to countering these to counter these Vivians so hard. They want to counter them real bad. Almost kind of keep hitting them in the face with these uh, little ooze tokens. The Texas Rangers are my favorite uh, baseball team. Um, yeah, that's my team. They're not so good this year. But that's all right. They'll be back. Yeah, we could have. Yeah, I was definitely considering hostage takering the the Jade Light Ranger there, 
but it was a 4-3. If, like, if the hostage shaker was, like, or sorry, if the uh, jade light was, like, a 2-1, I think I would have been more into that. I, I do want to draw one more land before I draw slam these crises down to turn them in from divination crisis to ancestral recall crisis. Oh really? You live that close? Nice. I used to go to all the games. I I had season tickets for three years to the Rangers, a little bit like right after college. Um. I guess we're gonna have to go Divination Crisis. And it was right during their World Series run and stuff too, right before. It was 29, 2010, 2011. Those were the three years I did. It was perfect. No time for a break. Don't make another move. What do you got over there, opponent? How many Kai's Rats have you used already, too? Man, that was the saddest thing ever. Keep One out away face. from that World Series title at Game 6 in St. Louis. Something that just kind of go to the grave with that one. Alright, so, so using that hostage shaker to save the branch walker because the branch walker can attack the Teferi for lethal. For Teferi lethal. That did According to plan. We've used three. Three Kai's Rats. And a Cry of the Carnarium. Now. Yeah, I definitely think our opponent... Yeah, I think our opponent has a negate. I, I don't know if there's going to be really... a a better time for me to slam down the Vivian. Like, I just don't think this Vivian's probably going to ever resolve. I think they have Negate. Skip to the good part. We had to put some. We had to explore so many good cards earlier to our graveyard. It's pretty tough. Oh yeah, the, this Escanta is awesome. Escanta is just a messed up card. I don't think we're winning this. I won't let you win. Plus, Teferi's not going to let us win anyway. I mean, I guess I can try. See if they have that negate or not. Uh, I don't think they have to syncopate for one. I, I already have the one to pay anyway. That's what I thought. It's unfortunate though. Hold that thought. This gets a lot easier for us after board when we don't have like these dead cards like, cast down and stuff when we have duresses in the gates. Game one's a tough one. I did have to go to discard twice. I guess that wasn't good either. Yes, in this matchup, Assassin's Trophy is better than Cast Down. In every single other matchup, for the most part, I'd rather have Cast Down. 
there's two decks I would rather have trophy against are Esper Control and uh, Wilderness Reclamation decks. Basically, all the other decks I'd rather have cast down. Least favorite standard block. Um, the uh, Ether Revolt and so what was that Kaladesh? Yeah, Kaladesh has my has been my least favorite. Of the hurry. Didn't really care for the energy stuff. I couldn't believe that they had Sahili Rai and Feldar Guardian in the same block like that in particular. Like, the Sihili Rifeld, our Guardian combo, was just nonsense to have something like that. So it's, it's really hard for a block to, to top that. That was pretty terrible. Ugh. This is doing this again. All right, Carnage Tyrant, come on in here. So basically, how much do I want to worry about them having Hostage Taker and stuff like that? Probably a little bit. Maybe a Crushing Canopy? Get rid of that as Kanta. Sahili Rai. They had like an infinite creature combo that was hard to interact with with a three mana planeswalker and a four mana creature. They just missed it. But the two of them went infinite. So you could just kill people on turn four. Or like, once you hit six mana, you could you could play them both because the four mana creature could untap a land basically. So at six mana, you could have nothing in play. Like your opponent like taps out, plays all the stuff, and you just have six lands, and they pass the turn to you. Or you you could just have five lands in play. You just play your sixth land, play the Feldar Guardian, then play Sahili Rai, and you win the game. And it's just it's just terrible magic. I'm gonna play one shoop, two takers, one canopy. As like these last slots that I don't really know exactly what I want to play. It just kind of depends on how like if my opponent's going with Diva Sandy, if they're going if they're gonna go hostage taker, like what like what are they doing kind of thing. All right, we'll keep this. I have duress on turn two before and as Kanta. I, I definitely like that. Certainly hope turn th by turn three we have an untapped land. So that's you know one of our first two draw steps. Uh, for this Jade Light Ranger. We did not draw a land, and same thing that happened last time. Last game we kept two lands, Jade Light Ranger did not draw a third land. This game, two lands, Jade Light Ranger have not drawn a third land. I did not play during Onslaught Mirrored and Standard, no. Uh, I started playing Standard a lot during World Wake.
I do like div Divination Jade Light. We'll see if we can catch back up. Probably just eat there, negate. Or another Kai's Wrath. the old hand refill right there. I should have sideboarded out of Vanifar. Or two. Vanifar is just not necessary in this matchup. I kind of looked over Vanifar completely. This is not a Vanifar matchup at all. I, I should have taken out some Vanifars. Maybe even all of them, honestly. When I was like looking at the sideboarding, I just kind of ignored that card. Gosh, so many Kai's Rats. I guess they're playing Thief of Sandy also. I don't love the the plan of playing a bunch of Kaya's Rats and Thief of Sanities, like that like that those two cards go together. I never really understood that. So I can Crasis for six. That's kinda too many cards. Other option is Vanifar plus Jade Light. If I Krasis for three, I can Jade Light also. I guess I can just Krasis for two and Vanifar. Alright, I guess that's the best thing to do. Definitely want to get Vanifar in play. Now we can turn Jade Light Ranger into Hostage Taker, assuming they did not hit my Hostage Taker. There's only one other Hostage Taker in the deck. And hope they don't have instant speed removal. We can like play around instant speed removal by just chupacabra -ing. It's safer. Certainly safer. Going not safe. They gotta be like out of Kaya's rats, right? What are they shocking in there for? Unclear. Wow. 
Wow. No respect for Vanifar. Please, no Kai's Wrath. I've already played three. Don't find the fourth. Don't do it. Don't do it. Cast down. Mortified. Did not find anything. There we go. All right. Going to game three. All right. Vanifar did some work there, but I don't expect it to really do that kind of work again. Um... Two troop, three taker. Do I do I need the two troop, three taker? Play harpooner. I don't think I really want to play harpooner. I guess I can play harpooner on turn two. I guess I'll play one harpooner over a troop. This is our final boss music. We are facing the final boss here. Either we get our five win league here or we pick up our second loss and we're eliminated. So this is it. This is game three. Rex Age is certainly an option too, like to be able to destroy Ascanta. So that's what we got going on right now. The thing is, is unless our opponent has a reclamation or has a search rest can't play, Reclamation Sage is gonna do really nothing. Like the two one does is basically nothing. Hey Zerf, it's going great. We have a poll. If you're just joining us. Uh, vote nice draw poll. We're going to be doing a 12-hour stream either tomorrow or Friday uh, to celebrate getting enough uh, to getting to our uh, quip referral go goal. Man, I can't talk. The quip referral go goal. Uh, that was bad. So vote when you want the 12-hour stream to be. It looks like it's it's, it was exactly tied when I just checked on it a little bit ago. It's really close. It's still tied. Tomorrow or Friday. J Light exploring in, into a Thieves Andy is not as uh, valuable. Yeah, turn two Thought Erasure, turn three Thief can certainly steal games. We'll see if it steals this one. Gotten a few too many lands here. Draw that negate, thank you. Hey, Svet. Awesome, yeah, we'll be playing that here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll have that Rix discard will be up next. The good news is even though they have a lot of cards, they don't have very much mana. The bad news is they found all my hostage takers. So, yep, looks like Thief's going to take it. 
So they found all the hostage takers. Well, got their thief. Like, I wonder if I should have just taken my hostage taker instead of the thief. We The problem with taking the hostage taker is we get hit by the thief again, but we would, like, get our biogenic ooze back. Um, and then, like, the next turn could, could try to take the thief. the best masterminds acquisition target to win the esper control mirror i guess like chromium or nezahol i suppose stupid harpooner why do we put a harpooner in our deck Stupid harpooner. Hey, what's up, Spiral Cycle? So yeah, so I guess I don't really know a, a great answer as an acquisition target to win an Esper Control Mirror. I suppose. Crisis, crisis. Our final boss playlist ended. This game's gone so long. I to start over. So bad news, they still have six cards in hand. Got it. And stacked. Stacked hand over there. Good news is we top decked another Vivian. Let's balance comes. Okay, we're not too far away now. They have four cards, we have three. Ugh, didn't want a watery grave. That was kind of the bad part about our tick up. Our, our Vraska tick up did see a whole lot of good cards. We could only get one. Alright, in case we draw Hydroid Crisis, I want to have all the mana possible. Crisis? Dang. That's why I kept my card in hand. So they thought erasure it. Oh, they kept that card really quickly. No. Branchwalker, find a crisis. Thank you. Four, eight, ten. Sometimes you have to give your your cards a little direction. 
They want you to find a Krasis, and so that's what they did. So we can Krasis for 10. Next turn, no Teferi, no Teferi. Don't do it. My opponent knows that I'm going to cast this. I don't think it really matters if we do it pre-combat or post-combat. We have Krasis for 12 next turn. So it did not play Thief. Oh, this is getting all choppy. Wait. So I, so Gibkey, the reason why I duress there was because I was planning on, you know, like we we're going to, we had the other crisis in our hand where we were going to be refilling our hand the next turn anyway. So that's why I had like the one mana that turn to be able to play that duress. Uh, that's, that's why I played it there. They have another Kaya's Wrath. Our opponent's been really good at drawing all their Kaya's Wraths. They have drawn three Kaya's Wraths. Again. In half their deck. Biogenic Goose is a real good late game threat. Requires a Kai's Wrath all by itself. There has Kanta Whiffed. Yeah, I don't know why our opponent didn't just cast it. Or I guess because they wanted to activate as Kanta. If they absorb it, they don't get to activate as Kanta. But this is this is the problem with playing Thief of Sandy in your like control deck. When you if you get behind. Thief of Sandy is only good when you're ahead. You're trying to like Kaya's Wrath, all these creatures and stuff, yet you also have this Thief of Sanity. Did not get there. Could not find the fourth one. And both those games, I couldn't find the fourth Wrath. And we got there. Alright, where's our victory music? There we go. Five and one. That was a great game. Great match. There. We had a couple of real good matches in a row there for match number four and five. After, uh, like, those last two against Sol the Sultai Mirror and against Esper. Even after, uh, Game one and game two, we couldn't hit the third land drop. And for a while. And then game three, our opponent had the Thought Erasure into Thief of Sanity. And we thought Thief of Sanity was going to steal it, was just going to run away with the game. But the opponent got the opponent after four lands. They didn't hit their fifth immediately. I think they took them one turn to hit the fifth and maybe another turn to hit the sixth. So basically, they. Or a couple more turns to hit the sixth, maybe. Um, but with them getting you know, not hitting a bunch of land drops, they were just kind of stuck with, like, deciding, like, which one spell they wanted to play each turn. 
uh, while we just continued to hit land drops and eventually started double spelling and everything and and uh, working it worked out there. So there we go. That's Sultai Vanifar. Had a real nice 5 1 there. Awesome. Uh, things to change about the deck? I don't know. I'd want to play it some more. Uh, you know, we struggled with the Judith deck, but I I don't know if we'd like really change the deck up because of that. I kind of liked what we had going on here. Everything went pretty well. The Biotonic Oozes were really sweet. Um, yeah, this deck worked out really well. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube... Oh, yeah, Vanifar was the MVP some games for sure. Vanifar was really nice, especially in the mid-range mirrors. Even just, like, even against Mono Red, Vanifar was, like, one of our best cards. Vanifar was awesome. Uh, not so much against the, the Kaya's Wrath deck. You don't really love it there. But it, it did its job. It got, like, a... Um, it got some stuff there, too. Anyway, uh, yeah, so if you're watching this later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that.